All right, so in this uh, lesson, I'm going to show you the alternative way of using cPanel. As you've seen over in Dufferin Web here and stuff, we'll go back to it. Let me go back to the cPanel. If you remember in Dufferin Web, the cPanel looked like this. This is your standard default cPanel setup, which um, a hosting company, if they haven't um, done a lot of extra work or they haven't set it up to be a little a little nicer a little easier to use it'll look like this um Dufferin web they've got all kinds of stuff built into theirs for like billing and support and so on and so forth so um that's because Dufferin web actually uses um actually has a whole a whole uh end user portal that you can register your own domains in your own hosting so on and so forth this c panel is the default c panel installed Okay, so it's essentially if you went and bought um, a dedicated or a shared uh, VPS computer off of um, off of somebody, um, for instance, I got this one off of OVH. Okay, they um, they provide you with a basic install on the. Um, on the web and then you have to control everything yourself from there so in this case this is your your default C panel you may run into this sometimes and may not use the soft Haculus so if you recall the soft Haculus has all this stuff down here and you can install all kinds of different things in this setup of C panel if you go to the bottom you'll notice that all it's got is WordPress manager okay so in this case, I'm going to show you how it works. If we click on add on domains and we're going to go back over to here and we're going to grab the business website demo.com domain again. We're going to create the same domain in here, okay? So we're going to go like this. You'll see that it's going to work much the same as the other one did. And it's going to create your domain and we're going to say, okay, add the domain. All right, so there it is. So it, that's exactly the same as what happened in the other system. Now the difference here is that if you go to the bottom of the actual C panel, or you up in here type WordPress, you're gonna see WordPress Manager, okay? If you click on WordPress Manager, you're gonna see a whole list of different sites that are on mine but you want to click on new site okay so inside of here you can now say okay i want to install to a certain domain so i'm going to click down here i'm going to go up to the top and i'm going to find business website demonstration.com okay then at this point i can now just simply click on install and it's going to go and it's going to install the actual business website demonstration. And there you go. And it gives you a username and a password, okay? So we've now installed the business website demonstration on this server. Now I'm not gonna bring up the website because it looks exactly the same, okay? The only difference is, is that it created a username and a password for you rather than you being able to, to uh, define your own. So, anyways, that's the alternative um, way to use a default cPanel install. I hope you enjoyed this lesson, and I will talk to you in the next.